This is Ms. Schrunk's first time on the march, and she is glad that students have this opportunity. Well, I got involved in the pro-life movement um, back in college. Um, I went to a public school growing up, so there really wasn't a lot of information about pro-life stuff. We did learn some things about, um, you know, uh, like life issues with abortion and kind of um, with, you know, stem cell research and kind of just respect for human life in all forms. We did learn about some of that in high school. Um, we were able to go to a couple of different um, Planned Parenthoods or places that um, provide abortions and protest um, just through prayer and through holding signs, that sort of thing. So I did a couple of those things in high school, but really wasn't until college that I really started to learn more and more about um, the issue. Matt Kirpis is a senior and is glad to have an opportunity to participate in the march. The reason I went on the March for Life is to give a voice to the voiceless and because seeing hundreds of thousands of people all across the U.S. come together for a common cause just gives hope for the future that we can really make a change. Kayla Fuller, a junior at Xavier, led and created cheers during the march. So I decided to lead the cheers because that's what I did my freshman year and it's just a good way to get not only Xavier involved and like really know what we're fighting for but also everybody else around because everybody else just kind of does their own thing and it just gives you a sense of unity and what we're actually fighting for. Mr. Satterley is excited about the future of the pro-life movement. I really do believe that this is the pro-life generation and I think that it's something that uh, youth should be passionate about because uh, they have every ability to make change and every ability to be a generation that sees an end to uh, something as, uh, I guess, uh, challenging to human dignity as the uh, Roe v. Wade decision.